Hey guys, how you doing? I'm going to mention a few things on here and then I'm going to do an art journal page. Um, about my book of shadows that I'm doing for myself and I know a lot of people have been asking about it and wanting to do it. I'm bring it down so when I do my thing. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a few things that other people are doing, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, Pattinson fan, as we all know, I talk about her quite a bit. Um, she's going to be doing a book of angels in quotes that she likes, which I love because I used to collect angels. Um, I would ha I, I collected angels for years and years and years. Um, and um, so I thought, and I, I'm a quote freak. So I thought that was really, really cool. I thought that um, I, I love when people think outside the box. And I guess, you know, for me, my book, you know, means something to me uh, that's very personal and it's, you know, for me and for y'all to, like I said, whether it be a religious thing or um, like uh, Pattinson fan Veronica um, doing her angels or Michelle Baldry, she's doing a book of life for her daughter, meaning um, lessons learned and things like that. Um, so when her daughter gets older and whatnot, she has this book from her mother and, um, I think that's fantastic. Uh, so I just wanted to give you guys a few more ideas of, um, you know what I mean? Like the book of shadows for me, you know, is my Wiccan pagan belief, um, my life. And the fact that you guys have turned it into something that perhaps you don't believe in the same things that I do, but you've turned it into something that's good for you. I am so full of um, love for this that uh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's wonderful. And if any of you um, have also done the same thing, let me know. I love talking about it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not for everyone, you know, what I do, but like I said, to turn it into something for yourself, I think is awesome and something that re you relate to and that you love. Like I said, I, I love quotes. I'm a quote freak. I I write quotes down constantly. So, you know, the angel things with quotes and whatnot, I really dig. And like I said, a book of life for her daughter. I mean, it's just wonderful. So I wanted to say that. Um, Sonia Septa had said in a um, comment about putting her art up and, um, a lot of people are really nervous about putting their art up. And I want to say, um, don't be because you guys, when you put your art up and tag me, or you guys show me your art, you're an inspiration to me. And, um, it, it's so important for me. I love to see your art. It doesn't necessarily have to be art that I've done that you've followed. It's just art in general, whatever you do. Um, so please don't feel, you know, bad or embarrassed or whatever. It's whatever you do. You might not, you might knit or crochet or uh, do scrapbooking, like real scrapbooking. You know, I don't do scrapbooking, but I love watching other people do it and what they do. Um, so don't ever feel embarrassed or ashamed. And um, you all inspire me um, so very much when I see you all adding to the Flickr account. And it's very hard to... Um, reply on the, like to make a, a, what you say, a comment on everybody's art on Flickr because it took me a while to realize that people were commenting <laughs> to me and I, I'm like, what, what's going on? So, um, you know, but, um, please keep adding because everybody's, I mean, we have a lot of people on there now and, and everybody gets to see each other's art and, you know, it's inspirational. It doesn't, you know, it's not, nobody's judging you. I have to say, um, I got about 36 new people in all things creative within last night and today. I am thrilled beyond belief. Um, if you don't know what that is, go to my prior video before this and you'll see. Um, it's a drama free, completely drama free um, place that I created and I've had for a couple years um, where you can post your art. You can post your questions. Somebody had already, and I wish I would have wrote her name down. I'm, 
out of it today. So had asked a question about needed erasers. She couldn't, she doesn't know. She asked what are good erasers because even if she draws lightly, the erasers aren't good. And I had mentioned to her, um, I love the fabric Castell erasers and the needed, um, needed rubber erasers, which are the ones that you can pull apart. You can twist to get like that little point when you're, you know, um, erasing. And I wish I had one with me. I have like 20 of them. Um, cannot find them. Um, probably should clean. I'll end up probably buying a new one. That's what happens. But, um, so, you know, uh, you guys inspire me so much. And I, I tell you that got you that to you all the time. Um, somebody had mentioned on my, a polymer clay video because my polymer clay lace cane video, um, the one that that one woman had left a nasty comment on gets more hits and I get more comments on that video. Good comments. I've never gotten a bad comment on there. Um, said to me that she has looked all over and, um, she loves the long videos. And, and one of the biggest questions I get is why I do them. Um, why I do make longer videos and stuff. And I know that you all like that, um, because I've asked a thousand times and I know that y'all don't dig the, uh, videos that, you know, I do speed up and put music to. You guys don't like that. You like me talking and doing and, and teaching. And, and that's why I do it. I do things. And I say this without disrespecting myself, but, um, I have to do things. So Kelly understands it. Like I do things. So if I watch somebody else teaching, it has to be in Kelly's the head. Like, do you, do you understand what I mean? Like, um, I do it so if I was somebody watching it, I would understand it. I break it down piece by piece by piece the best I can, and it takes a long time. Um, I always say if you don't want to watch my videos because they're too long or, you know, people want to get to the point of what it is, like the art journal, then, you know, um, perhaps my videos aren't, you know, for you, I've not had any complaints. I haven't gotten any negative feedback um, for quite a while. I've not gotten comments or whatever. But when doing polymer clay, you need time to show step by step. And that's what I do. And um, as I told her, and I've told you guys, I get so many requests to do polymer clay, clay things. And um, if you go on my main page, if you click knitting and things wh where you're watching this and it takes you to my main page, all my um, things that I do are separated. So if you only are interested in polymer clay, there's a polymer clay list. And it's all the polymer clay videos I've done so far. And that's all it is. You don't have to go through all the mixed media and me talking and, and everything like that. If you only like mixed media, there's the mixed media thing that's only mixed media. If you only like art journaling, then there's just the art journaling things. So if you're subbed and you only like certain things, you can definitely just click on my knitting and things, um, name, and it'll take you to my main page. And, um, not only can you sub there, but you can, um, pick, you know, what subject you want to watch and, um, they're on there. So, um, I, you know, I did separate it for everybody because some polymer clay people don't dig mixed media and some mixed media don't dig polymer excuse me, whoo, water, polymer clay. So that's why I do them. Um, y'all know I've asked you a million times about, you want me to shorten my videos? Do you want me to do my art journal and just do it and put it to music and do that? And y'all, you know, no, 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 keep it the way it is. So until you guys tell me otherwise, that's what I'm doing. So that's what I have to say about that. Now we're going to work on our art journal page. I'm not gessoing today, as you can tell. Let's see. I want to get my camera. I've had my camera like six different positions. Yeah, it's a kinky baby. Okay. I'm not going to adjust. So there's a little eight there. I don't know why that's there. So I'm just going to do a, just a kind of plain kind of page. I'm going to put, I'm looking for, I guess I must have done something with my, papers. Let me grab some scrap of paper. Oh dear. Preparation. It's a wonderful thing. I 
use um, printer paper and oh, I'm gonna fix my snubby. Okay, <laughs> I was having a snubby. Yeah, I use printer paper. The reason why, and I've explained it a million times, oops, took three pieces, uh, is because whatever you get on here, I'm just gonna save my peacock paper so it doesn't get it, and then of course the next page of this. Um, the, like if it gets all this extra paint and everything on it, you can save it and I turn it. I don't know what the heck I did. I bet you when I clean my desk off next to me, which, which is what I have to, I'll find them. But however, you know, you just keep turning it and turning it as you do your journal page. And then you get this great mixed media, you know, like scrapbook paper that you would go buy with all these great colors on it to use in your, um, in your, uh, <laughs> mixed media. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Now here we go. I've not done, I've not painted or done anything in a couple weeks. So excuse me. I'm a little bit off and a little bit out of it. I shall survive, but I did not, however, um, just, so. and I'm not going to no specific reason. But I do know that I'm putting teal down. This is actually called patina, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to dot, 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 dot. And it's from Folk Art. It's one of my favorite colors. It's patina. And I love to use it with clay also to give that patina look to it. But um, I want to make sure I stay in. But I love it, and I'm going to use it. I wet my brush a little bit, but I'm going to get out a lot of the water. And then I'm just going for it. Now this is going to act as my gesso. I'm going to need more of it because I didn't squeeze much on. Because I didn't want it too, too thick. But I let it sit too long. Now that's a, that's a lesson for you to learn. And I honestly, in all this time, I still have not. I know it, but I don't do it. When you go to do the dots like I did... If you leave, it's like, I'm going to do this, right? Now, that'll be probably enough paint. Now, if I leave that sit too long, what's going to happen is, and I'll see if it works while I'm trying to spread this out. What happens is it starts, because I did not gesso, it'll start sticking in, sinking in your paper. And you'll see, like, if you can see right here, there's dots of where I put my dots of my paint. And I don't know if that's ever happened to you before, but that's what happens because I did not just so. So that's something to keep take care of. Now in your art journal, it's not that big a deal. You know, we're just playing and having some fun and you know, you have your scrap papers underneath. It could be whatever you want. I'm just turning my paper into more of a watercolor paper, like a watercolor underneath because I just want that dark, I mean that light uh, blue, bluish green. Let me try to get it. If you want to do a darker coat on it, by all means. And I just go over to scrape off whatever is left there. Okay, you don't have to get all of it, but that's what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna blow dry a little bit. Because I'm gonna draw. Now, I want to talk about something while I'm doing this, while I'm drawing this. Our goddess um, picture, our, our goddess painting that we're doing and the drawing. Um, I've shown mine many times, my, my regular goddess, not the goddess that we're doing now. And it's black and it's, uh, the goddess is a black goddess I did and it's gold. And I'll have to, maybe I'll put the picture at the end, I don't know. But um, I'm going to put a link below 
to Annie's video where she, her goddess is, and this is for people who do not want to draw a face like I'm doing. She is drawing the goddess symbol. So if you're interested, I'm going to link her link below in the description. And y'all go check out her video because it uh, may very well help you, like I said, if you're not into um, drawing faces and all like I do, like I love. Now, I'm going to draw something and it's going to be it's going to be a sculpture I made and I'm going to make another one. I'm deciding on whether I'm going to do it on video or not. But I love this little thing. I love this little guy. So. Um, I think I put my pencil, like my good pencils away where you can see them. So I'm going to have to draw a little bit better. And I don't know if I've done this on here before or not, but I have so many new subs that I am going to, um, I don't expect perfection because that's not what I'm heading for. I'm just heading for my little goofy guy. I'm going to make him in, I made him in paper clay <clears throat> before, but I think I might try polymer. I have not decided, but I love my little guy. You see that so far? I like him having big eyes. And I'm probably going to have to erase, like, see, like, that eyes. Not as big. Now, I'm able to erase a little bit better on the paint. If I would have gessoed. Now, see, I smeared, I, I smeared my, I'm not going to worry about it, but I smeared my lead. Um, if I would have gessoed, you know how hard sometimes it can be to erase over gesso. But this erases very nicely, as you can tell as I erase my squigglies. Right. Did my okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do a line right here. He's gonna have one tooth, two tooth, one tooth. And if you guys do this, I would love to see it because I love seeing you guys do what I do. Like, you know, like your own, whether you do the same thing as I do or not, your own interpretation, whatever. And that'll be his crazy teeth. But when I do it, it'll be a darker line in there, so it'll be more of his, you'll see his teeth, I'll paint his teeth white and all that kind of thing. And then I love his little body. His body was like, just like an almond. I don't think the almond had the point over there. I want to kind of, yeah. And that's, again, that's the reason why I did not put um, just so down was because I wanted to be able to erase if I wanted to erase. Do you need something, Dave? Huh? Do you need something? Huh? Oh, all right. And I just give him his little feet. Okay. Just do his little feet like I do his little feet. I'm just using mechanical pencil. I'm not even using anything fancy. And I know that I want his legs having stripes. But I want them a little further away than normal. Well, that, that one isn't. Maybe I'll move this one up a little bit so you can tell. And they don't have to match side to side. Who cares? He's just a freak of nature. He's just a happy little friend. 
All right. And that's where we're at. I know. So exciting, isn't it? And he's going to have... These are creatures in my head that live, that speak to me. And they want to come out. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> and then his insides... Then his insides... Oh, my text... I have to turn the volume off. <clears throat> um, don't know if I want them to have the same stripes going this way or just be plain. I'm not really sure right now. And then I'm going to do just something. I'm just probably going to write over here. I'm not even going to worry about doing that. Now, here comes the fun part. That people, people email me constantly like, why do you do this? I do it because I'm insane. I do it so I just get the general sketch. I don't push hard on my eraser. But when I go to paint, I know where my lines are. And then the graphite doesn't go in to everything I do. But I can still see the outline of what I did. Now, I'm going to try and change the side of the eraser. What happens is, once in a while your eraser gets like that, you got to clean it off. So I, right now, I'm not going to clean it off. I'm just going to keep turning. See, now that side's dirty, so I'm just going to keep turning side to side. And that's a good tip and a good trick. We're going to do a lot of snow here. Today. Oh, do I have one more clean? Just to get some of that off. I'm not too worried about the smudging. Okay. Now, you can still see him, and I'm going to hold him up closer. You can still see the faint part of him. Now, you can do many things with this. You can decide to paint him in right now, or you can use markers. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I might use markers and gelatos. I might not even use acrylic paint on here. Um, I might just go with that. I know I want his, I'm gonna outline. Now it's not gonna be as dark because I am using the markers and it's going on here but I always like to outline in black, but to get my, who knows, maybe I'll use paint too. You never know with me. I think we're all like that. I think you start doing stuff and yeah, you, know, you never know until you start doing it. Now I'm going to outline these cause I know, I think I'll do these in red. I'm going to wait on his legs. <sighs> Grabbing some brown. Giving him an inside look. I'm going to trace his eyes. Thin, it's one of my roller bar ball R2s from R2 Inc. I don't know. It's one of my favorites. I have many favorites, uh, but I love these. Keep his little mouth like that. I'm gonna go in thicker with my pen. This is a rollerball 0.7, and I love it. 
Now I'm going to have to find my white gelato to do the insides of those. Then I'm going to, I think I'm going to trace his. legs because there's some little small spots sometimes you got to change what you're using whether it be you go to a pen or a pencil or a colored pencil to get into them that's why it's called mixed media mixed media isn't necessarily you making a background with all kinds of papers it's using different types of media like I am here I used paint I'm using markers I'm using a uh, pen, you know, a pen, and uh, it's kind of where you're, you know, where it comes from. I don't know what I'm going to do in the stomach yet, though. But let's see if I can find me some red. I don't want that kind of red. All right, apple barrel, red apple. So I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to need a smaller brush. I take out of the cap. I paint out of the cap. You guys know. <laughs> you guys knew me enough by now. That's what I do. I just take my paint out of the cap. It saves you a lot of paint and a lot of, you know, especially when you don't have space to like to have like your, you know, have all your paints out and have your palette and all that. Yeah, I just, I do this because it saves me so much paint. Now, I will probably outline these in black because I really want them to stand out. And have the point. my cap up again gonna follow I'll give that a second to dry because I know that uh, that's going to go underneath. So I'm just going to lay this here for now because I know I'm going to need it again and I'm not going to rinse it off. I don't think I need that piece of dog hair right there. Thank you. Now, shit, I need that brush. Now I'm going to go in with white around his face but I'm gonna use where's my white? I have white I gotta buy a new big folk art white y'all know that whatever brand you buy I always buy these in white and black in the big because mixing them with any color that you have makes a different color and makes it awesome and this is getting pretty old and pretty empty and pretty not wanting to help me come on that's not gonna i have like barely any left come on get down here <clears throat> Nothing. I guess that's gonna sit upside down so I can do that. Okay, on to the next. Just gonna put a couple drops of white. And take it around, round and around. And it's mixing in with the red a little bit. 
up on top and that's okay because I'm gonna do another coat of the white so I'll go over it and it's only that one little area if you can avoid that avoid it if not don't worry about it remember it's just you're just playing in your journal and maybe you have a creature in your head that you would like to bring to life <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to do his belly. <clears throat> Sorry. Wow. We're getting a lot of snow here coming. Not really happy about that. And then it's supposed to stay cold. So it's like the snow is going to stay. Last time it, um, now you see me pulling in that color because it was a water, a water based marker. Um, that didn't, that wasn't permanent. It's going to pull in that color because my paint's going over it. So it's kind of making him look a little pink. I'm okay with that because like I said, I'm going to go over this with a, uh, another coat of white and I don't care if it has a tinge of pink too. It'll just add. Yes, I wanted it white, but you know what? When stuff like this happens, you go with it. That's all. You know, I'll rinse out my brush and give it a minute to to uh, dry and then I will take more of my red paint and just go over his little things here in the middle because they need two coats when I you know I didn't gesso so and not gessoing is not a bad thing I knew like I said I was going to put that base down so that technically counts as my gesso especially when you're art journaling Save your good products for when you're doing art that you want to give away or sell or, you know, if you're able to, which I know a lot of us aren't, buy a cheap gesso and then, you know, a better gesso for those kind of things. I tell people all the time, coat your paper, go to uh, AC Moore, Michael's, Joann's, whatever, buy their store brand. Uh you know, um, little thing of craft paints, they have store brands, um, buy a couple whites and use that as your gesso because they're very inexpensive. They're very, very cheap. And not only that, but they, um, have a lot of more chalk in them. I don't know if any of you have painted with them. They're not, a, they're not bad at all. And if that's what you can get to paint, I'm all for it. But as far as laying down your your first coat as a gesso, they're great to use as gessos. And white, I would buy white and black. And if you already have them, then you're already ahead of the game. But they do have a lot of um, chalk in them, which is basically what you're getting with the gesso. All right, let me rinse those off. Now, here comes the trickier part for me <laughs> because of my hands, but I'm going to, maybe I'll do it with, see if I do it with my marker right now until I get the paint done, the white paint, it's going to smear. So let me just dry it. But yeah, so definitely, if you can only afford, I always say go like to Michael's or AC Moore, and they have like Reeves um, brand, which, you know, I've seen, I've used a million times on here. Um, or even Michaels has their Artist Loft brand, and they give you like an acrylic paint or a watercolor paint package with like six or seven colors in it. And use your coupon, and you have a nice little set to start with. Make sure this white's painted before I go in with my marker. I mean, dry before I go in with my marker. I think a marker might be better. If I were, like I said, if I were doing this on a painting painting, I would be taking much more care. But I'm going to sculpt him to life. Okay. In a few, I might do it in a few days. Who knows? If we're getting all this snow. Hopefully I get stuff done that I need to. So because this is going to be a small space, 
I'm going to avoid the teeth area right now until I get the white in. And I'm going to go around the eyes because I know I don't want, you know, I want, don't want to cover them in. And you know, I have a thing, I love doing eyes, different colors. So I don't know what color I'm going to color them yet, but I'm just tracing it. I'm getting in there. Now I always choose, I always think going, like, you see how I'm going the longest way? Is a good thing. I'm going to stay away from them teeth. The best I can. Now I know I'm going to have to go in there with another color because the black is covering, is going to cover up my teeth area. So I'm going to have to go in with a different color. I'm okay with that. But I'm happy. Now I think I'm going to take, I don't want to do red because I think I'm going to do blue and green because I obviously I have the red things there, but I'm going to go in and trace. Now look at that. I'm going to, I might need some paint. Who knows? <clears throat> I might have to just go around it with black, with black um, marker. Now, what's really cool is if you have, I do, I don't know if I'll do it on here or not. We'll see how long my video is. Well, some of the black went in there and I really don't care. I don't. But I'm happy. Okay, now, let me find my white. Please be my white thing. I mixed my white pens in with my, yeah with my other jelly pens. Now he can have rotten teeth. He doesn't have to have white teeth. Some of them look like they have cavities. Doesn't matter. Just so they have something in there right now. Always wipe your pen off. Okay. But I want to make This might be not dark enough. So I was going to make that blue. That's not going to be dark enough. Hmm. What color? Might have to go over with some paint. Color would be cool. I'm sorry. I'm going to sit here and just contemplate for a minute. Don't you love it? No, no. Maybe I'll just go over it with. I want to do blue because. Oh, let's try orange with a, my small brush. Why not? Okay, I gotta find a small, small, small brush. Are you gonna be my small brush? Let's see what you do for me, baby. I'm just gonna get that to a point and get most of it off. And the black's lifting a little bit, so that's not being very helpful, but I don't care. Not doing what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Might just have to go to the teeth a little. I'll deal. All right. We'll deal with that. Gives me some breathing room. Let all that dry while I go over the whites one more time. Now you could do a cool stamp in his belly. 
you know. I put a lot on there because I knew that I'm going to take it for the face rather than putting it on like I did before and pulling the pink color from the marker in. So I'm just going to, that's better. Keep kind of working this white down here. Oh, went outside the lines a little bit. And honestly, whatever shows through, it'll just give it more, a little bit more uh, structure. I wanted him to kind of have a square head. I don't think I accomplished that too well, but when I outline it, that'll show it. Now I'm just going to kind of fix these in here. A little texture with the white paint won't hurt anything. I kind of dig it. When it dries, sometimes it'll dry flat. Sometimes you get that texture. Now I'm just going to fix right here. Because I want it to be squarish as it goes down, like here, and then leave it be. Good. That to work out to good. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I have these markers that I'm wanting to use and I don't know what I did with them. But is that a surprise to anybody? Nope. Sure ain't, Kelly. Boop. Right, let's try this. Use my little jelly rolls and just paint in because it's a small space. Cool. He's like me, he never matches, might be in his pajamas all the time. But that's life. Now, what I'm going to do is take this green, and I'm going to go up in here. I'm going to make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. And I'm going to put some sparkle in his eyes. And once I make my doll, I'll take a picture so y'all can see it. I'm going to be stuck in the house with the snare and I don't want to be sitting here so I have like all these I, I, after I clean up my one thing that I've been supposed to be doing or have been doing but not as quickly as I should be um, I'm going to use my blue for over here just to outline that line and color in this is the one sparkly eyes These are great. I got these at Joann's, but you can get Michael's at AC Moore, wherever. Use my coupon. And they're just jelly, they're jelly rolls from Sakura. And I use the white and black ones all the time. They're my favorite for doing journal work and all that kind of stuff. And um, I'm going to take my orange and go over my orange paint here and see if it finally adds a little sparkle. And um, I really love them.
They're fun to color with. They call you see how well they color. Now what I'm gonna do is get my brown. No, not that brown. Okay, not that brown. Is it this brown? Where is my good brown? Where's my brown? I love my brown. But this isn't it, but this will work. And I'm going in and I'm just gonna color. And then I'm gonna go back in and hit the white again for the teeth. And what this is gonna do is pick up the orange and then let the teeth kind of shine through the black, if that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. I don't even know what if what I said made sense, honestly. But it's what I'm doing. <laughs> I just love playing. I love to play. Okay. But if you can see, and when I hold them up, I bought those out, outsides, remember, when you're working on paint, because next time you go to use it, you will be upset. All right, what color blue is this? I didn't even see this. Oh, this is like a turquoise. I'm going to do the shoes that color, because I'm just playing. Use whatever you have. If you can only use crayons, that's all you have, and a piece of paper, do it. It's fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Look, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? And um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find my white. Did I put my white back? Did my white sneak away? What happened to my white? Did it get upset? I was using the other ones, too. What the hell did I do with my white? Oh my god, somebody, I, I swear to God. Swear to the gods. What on earth did I do with the white one? I was using it. I was. I was using you, white one. Where'd you go? Does that ever happen to you? It was right here. Oh. And, oh my god. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Now, I probably should use some white paint in there, honestly. All right, Nico. Mommy, I'll let you out in a minute. But for this demo, you get the point. You go in and paint with more white paint if you, keep, if you have it out still. And you'll get a much brighter white than I have or I'm happy with. See, I'm getting all that black off. I'm angry. I'm going to have to hit up the white paint. But what I don't have to do is I can just, I mean, I can use this. Oh, is it going to work now? Because I just used it on that better. Give him some white sparkle on his eye, but I'll hit that with white paint when I'm done. Now, honestly, I'm not going to keep you much longer. I'm not going to keep him longer because... I understand. And there's so much more that I'm going to do, but it doesn't matter. But as a quote over here, and then you can be a little doodly and all this kind of fun stuff. You can kind of just doodle your way. No big deal. No big deal. My thing is always... That's not what I want to do. <laughs> we'll do it this way. I have to change it around a little bit.
Do you think I want to be normal? My answer? No. You say whatever you want. Then I just take, you can use your black um, paint. You can use your black marker. You can use whatever your heart desires. I'm going to finish up here so I can quit boring y'all. If you've hung with me this long, God bless you. <laughs> May the gods above bless you, baby. Not very talkative today. I do notice that. I think I got so much on my mind and so much that I want to do. Did you ever get like that? Now you can go around here and, you know, if you want this to be a little bit more thicker for his face, now's the time to do it. The paint, the white paint has dried, so it's very easy to draw on. Okay. And I'll go in, trace his feet, do the lines in between. You can make them curvy, straight, whatever you want. Now, I wanted to give him hands. I didn't get to hands, but I would just draw out his hands. And to me, he only has that many fingers. Four. And you could do the same over here. Maybe his arm's shorter. Maybe he's holding something. I don't know. It's your world. It's your guy. But then I would paint them and, and do all that. And then in the middle, you know, do what you want. Um... You know, you can do Zen tangles in the middle. You know, you could do whatever you want, but I'm just gonna give him a nice little belly. And then I'll probably go in and color that some color. Now, before I get too obsessive, because I'm going to be obsessive, because I am, I'm obsessive person. Yes, I is. I'm gonna get my white paint and try to get in them teeth. I think this might be a little too big, but I'm going to touch it and see. Just with a little bit of white. And just throw some white in there. And then once that dries, I'll do it off camera. But uh, then I'll go back in and trace them. Just to have them a little bit more white. And then when I trace them, they'll be, uh, they'll be better. They shall look better. Okay, a little bit more. I always go two coats because it's going to soak into that black marker that is water soluble. Because it does, it soaks in everything. But I can, like I said, with my black marker, I can fix it. I'm not worried about it. And then I want a little dot in his eye, a little dot in his eyes. And that's about it. I'll just take the rest of this white paint, go around so it's not wasted. Because I hate to waste. There's only a little bit on there. And there you go. It's not pretty, not wonderful, but it's just how I'm feeling today, and this is what I did. Like I said, I gotta finish his hands and all the fun things, and once that paint dries, put in the black. But that is my drawing today of the sculpture I'm gonna be doing. And uh, I wanted to have it kind of panned out in a way that uh, I can look at. When I do it, I usually draw and sketch in my journal, but I thought I'd do an art journal page on it today. So if you hung with me this long, which good gods, um, I appreciate it. I'm very thankful. And I hope um, y'all try it and, you know, give it a whirl. 
And please be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You know, I believe that wholeheartedly. And, oh gosh, I don't even have no water since. And um, I hope you guys have a great, I hope you guys stay safe, anybody who's getting snow like us. And I hope you guys have a great, um, you know, week and art. And stay tuned for more videos. I've got more videos coming up. And I think that's all I got right now. So thank you guys so very much for being so wonderful and awesome. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.